Hey guys, back again with another Gotcha Borg overview. This time we're going to look at Hatchet Knight, another of the Knight Borg tribe. He's a bit of an upgrade from normal Knight. He is, he's a Class C Borg, short range type, 3 defense, 4 shot, 5 attack, 4 speed, air jump level 3, 200 HP, his attack is the Hatchet, his charge attack is Hatchet Boomerang, and his X is the Rolling Hatchet. And yeah, the Knight Borgs really don't have that much to their lore so far. I'm not sure if there is one that has that much, but it they're pretty basic units. And let's see what this guy can do. His cost is 490, if I didn't say that earlier. Um so yeah, his his B basically swings his axe. He's kinda like normal knight in the aspect that he doesn't have a ranged attack in his normal B attack. But his charge B is, a I find it a lot better than the Knight Shield Throw. But it is his range. It throws a spinning hatchet of doom. And like you can see it keeps going and even hits my ally. And you basically still have a hatchet when you use it too. See, so you, you kind of throw it and the one generates on your back and you get a new one in your hand. His X is the rolling hatchet. So it's kind of like the rolling slash of the samurai, and except it's a giant axe. Good damage. Good speed. His normal B is just normal melee attack. Pretty good damage. Um, his, his X seems to do a little bit more than his B, but that's to be expected because it's his X. Wow, this tank's really getting on my nerves. Yeah, his ro his uh, flying hatchet of doom, pretty good at taking out units, and it keeps going afterward. So you can use it close range, and it can accidentally hit a target you didn't mean to, like my ally from earlier. It can also hit targets you didn't mean to, like enemies you were aiming at, which is a good thing. Like there, I just got two hit, two enemies and an ally. Didn't really need to get the ally, but I did anyway. Pretty fun Borg to use just to make giant axes fly. I prefer him over normal. He costs a lot more than normal knight, but he does more damage, and his his only range is a lot better than normal knight's only range because, like I said before, um, out of the knight Borgs, I would not recommend normal knight if you have had tonight. And you choose between those two. Hatchet Knight doesn't have a shield, but he his range it doesn't leave him vulnerable. Normal Knight's range leaves him kind of vulnerable in the fact that his shield's going. This is pretty fun. With the charge shot, I can literally just spam giant axes of death. I mean, that's really one of the main reasons I recommend I recommend Hatchet Knight on your team. I mean, look, giant axes of doom. I mean, who doesn't love things that are giant and of doom? But yeah, Hatchet Knight's pretty fun, pretty good damage. His range attack takes a bit of charging, but especially with the super boost you see, you saw there, it's really fun to throw giant axes. All in all, he's, I mean, for the cost, I guess he's not the best. For 490, that's quite a bit of cost for one Borg. There are Borgs that cost a lot more, I assure you, but he's a pretty basic Borg, so if he costs like a hundred less, I would think a lot better of him. But for the cost, I'd rate him pretty average. So yeah, until next video, I'll see you guys.